It's going to be the cake that had this design here. I put it on Facebook. And, um, anyway, I've had things coming up here over the last few days. Here is the cake that I'm going to use, and it is covered with a crusting buttercream. And I will, um, post the recipe to it. It's real good. Um, ultimately, it's best if you can, uh, do the painting, like, after it sits out overnight. But since it's been sitting out over two nights, um... You know, of course, it'll get some little, small, little cracks in there because it's crusting buttercream. And that's fine. It's, it doesn't really hurt anything. But um, for all purposes, um, you would want to let it sit out just overnight and then do it the next day. But I wasn't able to do it that way. So I'm going, and I was also going to do it on the side of the cake. But because of the issues, I'm going to just do it on the top for right now. Um, so, anyway, uh, I am going to just still do the same little design, and, um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. And, what I wanted to do is, this will be the first video, I think I'm going to try to do some videos that are partly art lesson, partly cake decorating, because I think I can show you a way to do, to get these things on your cake, that are not extremely detailed that anybody could do with the right instruction. So, that's what I'm going to do on this one. So, this is going to have this design on the top now instead of on the side. I will be doing one on the side at some point, but it just won't be this one. So, uh, as you can see on this little um, thing that I drew out, there is a, uh, looks like a wreath that goes up. Then you have a flower here. This one is more detailed. But I'm going to actually do one that's not as detailed so that I think anybody could probably do it, uh, even if you're not really uh, artistic. And then it has a um, little monogram on there, whichever. Uh, you can put it or you don't have to put it, either way. So anyway, here we go. Oh, I'm going to do the little wreath, and I'm just looking at my little thing over here, and you really don't have to be precise with it, and because I'm doing it on the top of the cake, normally what you do is you're going to want to take, you hold, you balance your hand that you're painting with, with your other hand, and on another video, I'll show you that in more detail, so uh, anyway, on this one, I'm just going to do, I'm going to start out with a little wreath, and, and when you do a buttercream cake, you add more color than you do on fondant. So I have to load up more color on the brush. And then I'm going to just start out. You gently, gently can put your hand on the edge of the cake. You're also going to be uh, holding on to your arm that you're using here to balance it out. And to make the little wreath, I'm just going to make a, a mark here, as you can see, it takes a lot of color, so you really do have to add a lot of the color. Um, with fondant, you add less color, and because this has been sitting out, it's going to take even more, because it's set out and hardened up, so that's the way it is. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to just start putting on some color, just like this. This will be the little wreath part on the cake. And then I'm going to just bring it around, and it, you can just let it go however it goes at this point. Okay, you're just making a line that's curved, okay? Then you're going to come straight across from this one here. Go straight across here and just make a little dot. That's where you're going to start. Okay, and you're going to start, and you're going to just kind of come out. And initially, you can actually just make a little line just to show where you want to go back and darken it up. You're just going to go out like this. Put more color because this takes a lot. Just make your line all the way around. Just like that. That's all you do. Alright, now I'm going to darken it up a little bit and I'm going to just put more color on my brush and I'm just going to go back and I'm going to dab it on and it takes quite a bit of color on here and what actually happens is the color will kind of dry up and so it doesn't really stay wet but it takes a little bit of time to dry it 
And really, if I could have done this last night, it would have been ultimately better, or yesterday um, morning or afternoon, but I wasn't able to, so I'm just going to do the best I can with this. Um, so anyway, I'm going to continue to add color, and it's just crazy because this is just a complete opposite of what you do with fondant, because with fondant, you add just a little bit of color. With this right here, I'm adding quite a bit of color. It takes it. So you can just go back, keep dipping in your color, and you're going to fill it in all the way along until it's however dark you want it. You may not want it that dark, so you can leave it lighter. Alright, now wash your brush out. The next part is going to be the leaves. And there's nothing hard about these leaves. They're just small little, um, almost triangular shapes. So, I'll show you on that. What you're going to do is, you're going, and right here we're going to put the flower, so that's why I'm leaving that open. Up here will be open anyway. So, uh, basically, I'm going to start on the leaves. I'm going to dip into some green. This is Americolor food, Airbrush uh, Food Color Avocado. It's a nice color green. Sometimes I make my own green with yellow and blue, but right now I'm just using this one. I'm going to go back in, and at the very top, it has a leaf. So, basically, you start right here on the edge of this, and you just go out. And you're just going to follow it along, come down. Just like a little leaf. Just like if you're a little kid and you're drawing that out. So, and there's my colors beating up a little bit because the cake is set out for quite a while. So I'm just going to keep on working it. Got a little bit in my brush also. So I'm just going to go back and wash it out. Once you get finished with this, because of this being a buttercream base and it has real butter in it, it does, uh, it is more greasy, obviously, than if you work with fondant. So, you will want to wash out your brushes, most likely with some soap and water instead of just water. Alright, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a leaf here. You just make a little leaf shape. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. Give it some more color. Go back in and fill it in. And you don't want to be pressing very hard either because this is buttercream and it uh, it still is pretty soft. I mean, it's hardened, but it's still not like fondant. You can't really press on it, so you have to um, remember that. Alright, so now you're going to go back and forth and you're going to stagger your leaves. So, I'm going to go over here on this start, start on this right here, and I'm just going to make a leaf, a little shape, right here. Okay, if you want to, you can just go on down, and I'm staggering uh, where I'm putting them. So, then I'm going to go down a little bit, and I'm going to go put this one out here. And you can do this, and then you can go back and fill it in. If you prefer to do that, or you can fill it in as you're going, either way. Alright, so now we've got one here, one here. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do another one. So then I'm going to go out with it, come back over, just like that. And here again, um, when you are doing this, normally I just say to let the cake sit overnight and it looks a little bit better than it does now to do this but I was not able to do it yesterday so I'm going to try to do it today uh, so anyway you're just going to make a leaf shape and you got to keep getting color on the brush because it takes a lot of color on here alright I'm going to go back and I'll stagger back and forth as far as where I'm putting it
So I'll just go ahead and uh, fill this in. You just want to lightly put the color on because it is uh, where you could actually put a hole in it so you just kind of have to be careful. Um, ponding is much easier, you know, as far as that goes. Um, you don't have to be quite as um, easy with it. You can do a little bit, a little bit different. It's just, it's really just completely different in the way that you put the color on. Okay. Keep doing this. Anyway, I went ahead on and uh, finished that up, and I was just testing out my pink down here for the rose. So basically, you just go back and forth, and um, when you let your cake sit for long enough, you get an automatic little tiny bit of a crackle effect. So I guess if anybody likes that, um, that's good, but uh, preferably you would want to do it after it sets just one night. So um, anyway, but I wanted to show you this anyway so i'm going to show you how to do the rose and so um what i do is if you don't want to do something real detailed because uh you know not everybody is uh an artist or everybody can um do that i'm going to show you how to do it when you don't have to worry about it so basically you want to take some of your color and i'm using a pink color and I am getting some in the brush, and you just want to make, um, well, you know how roses look. So you want to make some little, um, you see I made this little line here, just a little swoop up. Okay, and then I'm going to get some more on my brush. And then I'm going to make another one here. Just make a little circle almost. All right, and then I'm going to go out here, and I'm just going to make another one, which I don't have enough color. And you're just going to kind of keep just going around and just randomly adding little circles there. So you're just going to go around, kind of make little, like, just swoop with some color. So there's nothing difficult to it. You're just going to keep going around it. Go back if you don't have enough color on there. Go in. Put more on there. Swoop in some color right here. You can make it as big as you want it to be. Just like that. And you want to fill in a little bit more color you can. And then, since I've got the big ones, and you can see kind of the way the rose is going to look, then I'm going to go back and make some smaller ones, just in different areas. So you're just basically making a little um, half circle or a little, um, just swooping your brush in there. Nothing uh, exact. Okay, now... Uh, with fondant, you normally would just use uh, one color, water it down, and you could make your darks with the same color. But because this is buttercream, um, that's just not going to work. You're going to have to use a darker color to make the dark. So on this, I'm going to use some red because you're going to have your lighter pink, and then you're going to have red. So I've got red here loaded up. And I'm just going to come in and make some little more, just like I just did, in different areas. And usually right in the center, it's really, there's a dark area. So right in the middle, just put a little bit of the darkest color, just blot it in there, just like that. All right, get some more of the dark color. And you just want to kind of, in different sections, you're going to just go in and um, run your brush, just like that. That's going to make you dark for your flower. Okay? Just like that. So you have a lighter pink. You do. I leave a little bit of, of white sometimes. 
and then where this where it's really really white because it's um, you know that could be like a little highlight from where the sun is showing you could actually take your brush you wash it out really really good you take a little bit of water and mix it in with a little bit of pink and so then you're going to just take it and tap it and just kind of draw the color and the shape or the way the petal would go so that that petal obviously would go like that and then that would be the same way we do around on this side we just very very lightly you're just going to tap in a little bit of color because this buttercream is not going to have anything much on it. You can't be very rough with it. Alright, so the same thing here. I'm going to take the color and I'm going to go up, pull it up, just like that. Okay. Just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm going to, um, well first I'm going to darken this up just a little bit, but I'm going to go in and just make a little rose bud too. So as you see, all I did was take my lighter color and like swoop in some colors in different directions. That's all you do. Then you wash out, go back and get darker, and you put the darker color in, especially in the center. That's where the darker color is going to be. Um, anyway, you, and you can also mix it with a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit of black to get if you really wanted to do some, you know, darker highlights or whatever, but really don't have to because this is more just like a just a free type painting on here all right so now um, to do a little small rosebud I'm just gonna do the same kind of thing I'm just gonna do a little small rosebud kind of like right here um, because it's going to be smaller I'm going to use a smaller brush too and I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up a lot of color on my brush and then just randomly what you want to do is you want to just make a little like a little U a U shape so you're just kind of tapping in the color just like that just sort of tap it in you can't drag the brush because the buttercream will not put up with it so you just make a little U shape just like that now you're going to wash your brush out real good and you're going to just take some nothing on the brush and you're going to just take that color that's already on there and you're just going to pull it over towards the other side so it kind of blends it and you have a nice little little bit of a highlight right there where you can uh, just leave that okay now you pick up some of the darker color which is red in this case and then I'm just going to tap in a little bit of dark around the side here on the bottom and bring it up just a little bit. I'm going to wash out the brush again real good and then I'm just, I'm just going to just tap it just a little bit. That's just going to mix your color a little bit better. You're just tapping it. You're not, you're not doing much with it. Now, because that's a bud, of course, a bud is going to have the little green leaves at the bottom. So wash out that brush well using the same smaller brush. You want to dip some of the green that you're using for your leaves. Get it nice and full on your brush, and then you're just going to. Start tapping in on the bottom here. Just it kind of goes around where your rose is. So basically you're just tapping it in there. And you're going to come up. And this is frustrating because it takes a lot of color. And when I'm showing you how to do it on fondant, it does not take a lot. So you have to go around the rose, bring that color up to show your little leaves here under the uh, bud, the rose bud. Okay? And then most of the leaves, they kind of come up and then they kind of have a little bend in them like that. 
So you can just kind of um, put a little bit of a bend at the end of the leaf there. Bud, and it's basically done. Um, and it's very simple because all you did was you just made a U and with the lighter color and you wash your brush out, you pull a little bit of the color in, put a little bit of the darker on the outside, and there you go, that's it. Then you put a little bit of color around the outside uh, with the grain for the leaf, and that's it. Now, I'm going to point this out. Because the cake has sat more than overnight, you see how this is a little bit cracked. And these are actually have little cracks in there. If it just sits overnight, like my other one I did with the poppies, it does not do this. I'm sure it has something to do with the the buttercream somehow. But anyway, ideally you want to do it after it sits out overnight and do it like the next morning. That's what I did on the other one and it works out better. But because I've had other issues, that's not how this one worked out. So anyway, I'm going to go on and I'm going to finish this up. So what I'm doing is now I'm just going to put a couple of larger leaves over here on the sides of the rows. And so, I'm going to load up my brush again with some green, which I'm having to get some more because when you're using it on buttercream, it just takes a lot. I keep repeating, uh, usually on my fondant cakes, that it takes hardly any on the fondant cakes. And that's true. This one, it takes a lot of color. So, I'm going to just go over here and I'm just going to draw out shape of a leaf and you just tap in your color you're not really brushing it like you're painting on a hard surface because this is not a hard surface it is a soft surface and you cannot um, do it any harder than just tapping it in um, and you really don't brush it too much I mean I, you do a little bit but you don't do it much because the buttercream, it just doesn't cooperate with you. But as you can see, even though this is cracked a little bit because of it sitting out, it still looks nice, I think. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of dark, darker color in up here near the rose. And see, already over here, this right here has already started to dry that we did initially. So it does look kind of wet when you first start on it, but it does dry out and it uh, it really holds up beautifully um, just like I showed you when I did the uh, one with the poppy it really really holds up well I was really surprised by that so basically what I'm trying to do is show you how to do some things on the cakes and I will do the fondant as well I would like uh, for you to comment on it as far as that goes uh, so I'll know uh, I was going to show some more videos on doing cakes, painted cakes, with very simple designs that shows you how to do it uh, very simply. Just like I just did this rose right here. This is not one of my very, very detailed, uh, you know, painted flowers on this cake here. It's not detailed. Uh, it's just like a pretty little uh, rose that I did real quickly. Um, and it's just, it's very simple. If you just do like I said, it shouldn't be hard to do. And you're just going to tap in the color just like that. And there you go. You got your leaves on there. Um, so basically, uh, that's it. Now, if you want to do, uh, you know, the, the monogram on there, you can do that. That's perfectly fine, too. Um, you know, it's just up to you. Uh, if we do it, basically, I would do it in uh, black. And, um, you know, put it like right in the center. I think I'm just not going to do it on this one because of the other issues I've had with it. But, I think it's still a really pretty, um, it turns out pretty the way that it looks. Uh, even though it's crackled a little bit. Um, it really is uh, a, a nice looking, um, you know, it'd be a nice looking cake. And then you can always do some little borders around the sides or whatever um, to finish it up. But that is just showing you how to do 
a small little you know English pretty rose um, on the cake that is very simple you're just using brush strokes and that's pretty much it so um, next time I will do uh, a little bit of a better video um, one that will be on a cake that will be um, just having sat out overnight if you're interested in the um, videos on the fondant cakes as well that just show you know more simple brush strokes you don't have to have a projector you don't have to have an art degree um, if I you know just show you how to do those if you would be interested please comment and let me know because otherwise I have no idea if you're interested so thank you very much for watching and good luck with your cakes